So this is the hazards case study for a tropical storm in an LIC. So this is Typhoon Haiyan. The case study fits into the specification under storm hazards and it contrasts the case study of Hurricane Sandy, which is in a HIC. So first of all, we've got the location. So it was located um, around 10.4 degrees north in latitude and 128.1 degrees east in longitude, around 543 nautical miles east southeast of Molina in the Philippines. Um, this super typhoon affected Palau, the Philippines, Vietnam and China. Um, so here are some of the causes. So it started as a typical tropical storm forming between six and seven degrees north of the equator in the Western Pacific, um, where the sea temperature was over 26 degrees. The Coriolis effect created an anti-clockwise rotation with a distinct eye. On the 8th of November 2013, um, the storm temporarily lost some of its energy as it crossed the island of Leyte. Here are some of the social impacts. So the wind flattened hundreds of homes. There was a temperate storm surge, which hadn't been um, predicted, um, which destroyed everything, sweeping people away and drowning thousands. And this was the main cause of death. There were power outages across the Philippines. 14.1 million people were affected, which is more than 13% of the population. More than 6,000 people were dead and a further 1,779 people were missing. More than 27,000 people were injured. A further 4.1 million people were displaced and 2.5 million people were in need of food. 1.2 million homes were damaged or destroyed um, and 90% of the homes lost uh, of homes were lost in the hardest hit places. So Haiyan was actually a category five storm because the winds reached up to 235 miles an hour. And it was also considered a category three storm by the WHO, which is the strongest um, storm that they class as a storm. Um, so there were economic impacts. Tacloban's airport was destroyed, which affect businesses and tourism. Um, overall, it was estimated to have costed about 5.8 billion US dollars. Six million workers lost their sources of income. Major rice, corn and sugar producing areas for the Philippines were destroyed, which affect the country's international trade and the farmers' incomes. Fishing communities were severely affected with the storm destroying 30,000 boats, which was actually the main source of industry in the country. Um, environmental impacts include the heavy rainfall, which triggered mudslides and flash flooding, the widespread flooding across the Philippines due to the storm surge, um, 70 to 80 percent of the area in the storm's path was destroyed. The government estimated that about 71,000 hectares of farmland was affected, so that would have caused food insecurity. Thousands of trees were uprooted, leading to a massive release of carbon dioxide and a loss of habitat, which um, had effects on the wildlife there. Um, and flooding also knocked over um, the Power Barge 103, which caused an oil spill, which affected the mangrove ecosystems. So we've got some short term management. 800,000 people were evacuated to emergency shelters. Pagasa um, broadcast warnings two days before Typhoon Haiyan hit, resulting in evacuation of its residents. The Philippines formally declared a state of national calamity and asked for international help one day after the typhoon hit the country. The, US gov um, sorry, the UK government provided food, shelter, clean water, medicine and other supplies to up to 800,000 victims. The government evacuated people to the Tacloban Indoor Stadium, which had been built to withstand typhoon um, winds, but this did actually get um, flooded. Distribution of emergency supplies within the first two weeks was over a million food packs and another 250,000 litres of drinking water. So we've got some long term management. So the United Nations launched an international aid appeal in December 2013 for 480 million pounds to finance the humanitarian relief effort for 2014. Several charities are helping people get their livelihoods back. Um, by repairing fishing boats or redistributing um, rice seeds. The Philippine government um, set up a Build Back Better program in 2014, um, which meant that buildings would be replaced with stronger structures that could withstand um, future super typhoons. The mangrove trees are being replanted along the coastline, so that acts as a buffer between the land and sea, it can take some of the energy out of the tropical storm. It would also slow any further storm surges down. Um, more cyclone shelters have been built, which has helped people as there are now more shelters where they can evacuate to and be safe. 
Um, the government also implemented storm surge warning systems after this, considering they hadn't predicted the first one. Um, so here's an, um, an exam practice question. So the distance response curve has contributed to improved understanding and therefore management of the impact of tropical storms. Um, so here is the mark scheme. So obviously they want you to identify the stages within the park model, um, the responses, the mitigation strategies, the management. Um, here's the second half. Obviously talking about predictions um, and evaluating and analyzing ooh, and analyzing different um, strategies that they've used to mitigate impacts. Here is an exemplar answer. I hope this was helpful. <laughs>